Hello again, it's NerdsRI. Welcome to the Minish Cap, the first Zelda game I ever played, and arguably my favorite. Uh, it's right on up there with Ocarina of Time, I guess. But that's what that's what they all say, I guess. But you know, it, it's true. They're both really good games. This game, however, has a uh, well. The way I described it was, this game has better dungeons. But Ocarina of Time has more consistent good dungeons, if that makes sense. It, it may not, but whatever. So we're just going to get right on in here. Um, I know exactly what I'm going to name myself. We are going to call me... Oops, that was not what I meant to do. We are going to call ourselves... Lank. It's Lank. Hey, Lank. How's it going? Okay, I, I apologize. It, it's kind of it's kind of weird coming back from not recording for a... Uh, a while just because I don't know I also recommend putting the settings on dark because it just looks better anyway it, it's weird coming back from not recording for a while because you're just not used to doing it I had to get a new computer and everything a long long time ago like it was it was weird when the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow uh yeah so I'm recording with OBS now so you can actually hear the music the tiny Bakori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people were enshrined that blade with care. What a great backstory. Oh my god, is that Princess Zelda? Whose house is she going to? I hope it's ours. The door seems a little shaky, I'm not sure what's up with that. Oh well. Whoa, that's definitely not me. I mean, I look, I look sweet with a beard. Good morning, Master Smith. Goodness me, Princess Zelda. Did you sneak out of the castle to come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Lank? The whole town is bustling for the annual Pecori Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that what you're here for? And don't call me sure. Well, Lank was up, was up late helping me last night. He's still asleep. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, he, that should be fine. Lank, time to get up! Oh, that's us! Lank, time to get up. I'm not sure how you heard that from all the way that, uh, down there, but you know, whatever. Considering it took Gully to scream at him to wake him up in A Link Between Worlds. That's another good one. So this is us. We're Lank, or Link, mostly Lank. Look at our little hair, it's so cute. We got the alfalfa going on and everything. And now we're nerfed to a cutscenes again. Hey, Lank! Princess Zelda is here. She'd like to know if you'd take her join her at the festival. That sudden voice change. Yeah, Lank, come on. Let's go check out the festival together. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun. And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making this sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. Well, jeez, pushy. I just woke up. You accepted the smith's sword. Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery. Can you lose any item in the Zelda games? This is the blade that, that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it, and while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda's the princess of Hyrule. You watch over her, don't let anything bad happen to her. Oh. Master Smith, quit worrying, we'll be perfectly safe. Come on, Lank, let's go check out the festival. What a slut. Well, there she goes. And in this chest, we get 20 rupees. Hooray! So just like every other Zelda game ever, you can pick up and throw pots, and you can collect a rupee in them. Uh, you got one rupee, it's green. Don't spend it all in one place. Great. Green rupees are worth one, blue are five, red are 20. Uh, big green ones are 50, big blue ones are 100, and big red ones are 200. So let's talk to our grandfather. Zelda's the Princess of Hyrule. You watch over- oh, okay. 
So if you if you press space, you can roll. I won't be doing that much, just because I want you to see the great atmosphere of this game, because it's really pretty, especially for a Game Boy Advance game. Uh, if you press space while not moving, you can uh, you can grab, or you can start twerking. Anyway. So let's go outside where Zelda is. Link, over here! Okay, so just pick up grass and throw that stuff because... I don't know. We can only carry like, uh, 99 rupees right now just because that's how... That's how it always starts out in games. Link, hurry, let's go! Okay, we're going to see Princess Zelda because we're going to the Pokori Festival. Over here, come on, hurry up. Apparently, the Pokori Festival is a festival that only comes once a year. Let's read the sign. Harold Towncaster Wilds, Minishwood. We'll forget you. I want to go to Wilds. Oh my gosh, the mortal enemy of any Pokemon master. A tiny little stump. Well, here we are, the town of Hyrule. I live right outside the town, but everybody else lives in the town. I don't understand. That's kind of dumb. So this is the Bakori Festival. It's kind of tiny. Hi, Beetle! But it's kind of it's pathetic, you know. Here we are, Lank. Doesn't it look fun? Not really. Come on, let's look around. It looks like Cinco de Mayo, or at least that's what it reminds me of. Let's talk to this guy. Welcome to the Bakori Festival. They say that every hundred years, the Bakori come to Hyrule. Oh, okay. Well, and this is the hundredth year to the day since the last time the Bakori were here. Jeez. Well, y'all sure don't know how to celebrate. Here's Zelda. Link, there's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to... Oh, I wonder what's over there. I didn't mean to go right past it, but whatever. Let's talk to this guy. Long, long ago, and then even longer before that, evil creatures appeared in the world of humans. They were powerful, frightening beasts, and they created such trouble. But then the Bakori came from the sky, bringing humans powerful magic. With the magic light force and the Bakori blade, the beasts were repelled. And the world of humans wants more new peace, thanks to the Bakori. So as long, so, so as not to forget our gratitude, we hold this festival every year. Now remember, little ones, the Bakori only appear before good little children. If you don't do only, only do bad deeds, you will never get to see them, so be good. We'll keep that in mind. Let's say hi to Romeo and Julietta. Yes, that's their name. Day and night, he's going on about the Bakori this and Bakori that. Doesn't he know there's nothing but a silly fairy tale to make kids behave? Wow, that's not going to get you in a good list. So the Bakori are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that. Who's this guy? Once every hundred years, does the mystic doorway open. This is the door that leads the human world to the world of the Bakori. When this door opens, the Bakori can enter our world, and guess what? This marks the hundredth year of the- Yeah, yeah, we know this already. I'm sure something wonderful is going to happen at this festival. Oh boy, you're going to hear I'm sure something wonderful will happen way too much in this game. Say, wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year. Oh wow, over here. Let's say hi to Beetle. Oh hi, are you enjoying the festival? It's much, so much fun. I'm so happy to be here. My fresh fruits are just delicious. Buy some. Pushy. Jesus. Ooh. We have a winner. Ooh. That's kind of unfair that the princess won. Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing? Wow. You get your choice at any one of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? First, we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next, we have this magnificent gem. And finally, there's a teeny tiny shield. So which one would you like? Let me guess, the jewel? Oh, but this heartstone is very cute too. Choose whichever one you like. The shield is adorable, I think I'll take it. What? Why? Why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heartstone? It's so cute. Or or this gem, it's pretty. Honestly, they're both much both must Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield. Ugh. Nope, I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well, okay, here's your teeny tiny shield. Here, I want to give you a present. Doesn't the shield suit you perfectly, Lank? Princess Zelda gave you a small shield. Hold the button to protect yourself. It is a little embarrassing, though. It's so tiny. That's what she said. Yep, just as I thought. You look great. Now, if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot, we have to take Master Smith's sword to the castle. Let's go, Lank! Okay, so, here on the item menu, uh, I want to explain some things. Here are all your items, here are the bottles, there will be four of them. You can save, like that. Uh, to go to the next 
next page you just hit the right or you go to the last page you just hit the left uh, so here's your sword right now uh, we're going to get 100% in the game so we're going to get every single heart piece every single well you'll find out every single heart piece right now we don't have a map yet but we will be getting one so I'm just going to get out of that right now so we have to take Zelda to the, to the castle because god knows why but check this out if you walk like this and the shake she'll just start shaking too it's the best but we just want to head up to the castle right now and <sighs> i just want to this game is just fun so much fun come on Link, let's turn to the castle like literally this is the third time in a row that i've played the game just for trying to figure out the best route through it and stuff just for the the best lp i can make of this game just because i like it that much ouch that must be the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. They were saying a decker scrub had been hassling all the passerby. Like, do something about it, otherwise we can't get to the castle. If only we had somebody to defend ourselves against those nuts of it. Oh god. Use protection! Okay, let's just talk to him. Please forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival and I came to town hoping my, to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, these scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Oh god. Everyone got scared and ran away and no one will buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. You didn't? Okay, whatever. I actually feel a little sorry for that business scrub, but that nut hurt. Oh, God. Oh, well, he won't be hassling anyone now. We better hurry to the castle. So I wanted to talk about the the woman at the stand was giving out a giant red rupee. Uh, and I said earlier that they're worth 200. I was wrong. They don't actually exist. <laughs> my bad. But yeah, they don't, they're not real, they're not in this game, except for right there, you can't actually collect a giant red rupee, at least as far as I know. If you can, feel free to correct me, but I'm always right. Ooh. Oh, Lank, you brought the sword, did you? Then, as minister to the kingdom of Hyrule, I, Patho, accept this blade. You came just in time, the award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Lank, but I'd better go, I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival, thanks for coming with me. You're welcome. Since you're here, Lank, why don't you just join us for the award ceremony? Okay! Ooh. <clears throat> I've always wanted a purple sword. Do you know about that sword, Lank? It's called the Bakori Blade, and it, looks, and it locks much evil away in that chest. The Bakori Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it long ago that Bakori gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. Just touching it? Aw, oh, come on. It's lame. Let the award ceremony commence. Body, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. I wouldn't let somebody looking like that in my kingdom. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, not even into the city. Just keep him out. Heh heh heh. To think things would go this well. The Bakori blade and bound chest spoken of, the hi and the bleh, spoken of in Hyrule lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I'll revive you, relieve you of its contents now. My bad. Look at his sexy hair, though. And his cape. Nice. He's got better hair than Zelda. Mm -ha, -ha, ha Do not interfere with me. As victor, I earned the right to approach the Bakori Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. Yeah, come on, dicks. Ooh. I don't trust the guy anymore. Oh my god. It's just half a sword. That's like cheating. Oh my god. It's those masks from Majora's Mask. At least that's what they look like. They're not really, but you know, whatever. Who are you? Why are you doing this? The princess which, with the mystic aura. The power that was gifted to the people of Hyrule still flows within the veins of the ladies of its royal family. Interesting. If I leave now, you'll only cause me trouble later. That will never do. Well, that's not good. To stone with you! Ooh! Aw, oh, a little tiny shield didn't do squat. Oh, snap! <laughs> All who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now to find out what power awaits me in this chest. Hey Zelda, you look a little stoned. Huh? Question. <laughs> Empty? There was nothing in there but a rabble of monsters. What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force. <laughs> well, I know the force. I'm after it. I am somewhere out there. My bad. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> Ooh, I wish I had that ability. Whoa, where am I? 
Can I do anything? There we go. Look at my sexy blue eyes, though. Let's talk to this lady. Oh, thank goodness you have awakened. Master Schmidt is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. Okay, so I'm in the castle. Hey, look, it's Grandpa. Oh, Lank, you're a wank. A wank? You're a wank. Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. Another voice change, by the way. I'm not good with this. It is as you have all heard. A sorcerer named Vali has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her into stone. If we had the sacred Pokori blade, we likely could have broken the curse. But Vadi shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Pokori? The Pokori? Not much beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny, if I'm remembering correctly. Well, duh. Yes, the one from the fairy tales. But the Pokori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Bakori who forged the sacred blade live deep in Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No, soldiers will not do. The Bakori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. So we can't send grown men with weapons, but instead we send children. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Lank? Oh god, Grandpa. If Lang has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask some of him. Please turn my precious Zelda back to normal. Why would you do it, dick? You don't need to find the Bakori just to find a blade. The Bakori should know how to create a new sacred sword. Oh, maybe that's why. It will be a dangerous journey now, now that those monsters have been freed. Please take the sword with you, along with the broken Bakori blade. Ooh, it's pretty. This is the part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred sword. Don't lose it. And I got a little tiny short sword with like a pixel on the side cut off, I don't know. You got the smith sword, it's the sharp blade made by your grandfather. Well, very well then, send the soldiers to search for Vaudi at once. Well that's what they're here for. Deep within the Minish Woods you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once humans and Bakori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start and then L or R to open the map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. You got a map? Now you'll never get lost. Great. So there's our map, but it has to be filled in as you get to places because that makes sense, right? No. I'm counting on you, Lank. Only you can break Vadi's curse and free Princess Zelda. So let's go. We've got a sword now and we can slash it. Uh, that's about it. So I'm sorry that this first episode has been really cutscene heavy, but that's how that's how games always go. And we're not quite done with the cutscenes yet, but we're getting some some action and playing right now. So that's good. Let's talk to this guy. Please be careful. Wow, you're boring. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're getting to play right now, and that's uh, yeah, we're gonna make it up to the first dungeon in this episode, but we're not gonna start it because I'm a cock tease. Oh god. Oh. <clears throat> anyway. But we're gonna make it up to the first dungeon at least. Here's an Octorok. Let's kill it. YOLO. So you can slash things with your sword and collect them and stuff like that. Uh, let's go over here. Oh god. It's a, it's a crow. I don't like those things. So let's go over here. Oh look. Let's cut these stumps. Once you cut a stump, they'll stay cut forever. So that's always nice. Can you pick up the rock? Thank you. And some things will permanently stay uh, open, like that rock over there and stuff, because it was covering a hole that we'll need later. I'll just say that. Oh look, it's acrobatic. Well, I forgot what their name are, but they're the acrobat some things. You got a heart! These replenish your life energy a little bit. So yeah, normally most people would, do, would be rolling throughout these uh, areas, but since I know where I'm going and I want you guys to see the atmosphere of the game, for right now at least, I'm not going to be rolling very much. Plus, it's also really annoying hearing ha 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 every five seconds, so, you know, whatever. So, welcome to the Eastern Hills. This is where we need to go. Uh, well, it's not quite where we need to go. This is where we need to go. The Hyrule Castle, the Hyrule Town, and the Minish Woods. We need to go to the Minish Woods. I love this area, and the music is pretty full, and yeah. So, water, we should swim, right? Nope, we can't swim. Ooh, shiny. Unfortunately, we can't get to that right now, but whatever. 
That's the story of the Zelda life, though. Like, or Link's, Link's life, I guess. Uh, you can see things, but you can't touch things. It's kind of like being in a china shop. <laughs> I did not see that guy there. Anyway, let's get through this place. This is the Minish Woods where the Bakori uh, supposedly lie. So you can you can walk on this little uh, the light blue part, which is like water with some stuff under it. I don't know. Look at that pretty house, though. Again, we can't get there yet, but we can get there quite a bit later. Not not too much later, but you know, more than more than what I would like, I guess. So let's just let's just keep going down. I just I just love the sprite work on this on this game. It's it's phenomenal for being on a uh, Game Boy game. So let's just hop on this stump. You can't do anything uh, with the stump, so. You know, whatever, we're just gonna give up. These are choo-choos, by the way, I didn't mention that. They take two hits to kill right now. Help, help me! What is that? Ouch, won't somebody stop them? Ow, ow, somebody, can't anybody hear me? You know what I just realized? We don't have a hat right now. Hmm, maybe we'll change that. Anyway, you got a piece of heart. Collect four to make a new heart container for even more life energy. But yeah, we don't have a hat right now. Huh. That guy kind of looked like a hat. Maybe something will happen. <clears throat> happen. <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway. Let's just keep going. Uh-oh. Hey, kid, you there. Ow. Hey, don't just stand there. Do something. Ow. What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me. So this will be our partner throughout the game, kind of like Navi and Fi. Phew, well done, that was close, not that I could handle them myself. But that's beside the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Ho ho, I see. What did you call me? The Bakori, you say, and Vadi? Vadi's cursed someone? What? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot of con in common. I wouldn't say that. You see, I too am on a quest to break the curse of Vadi's. Well, you're not doing too hot. And you say that we're forging the sacred blade can break his curse, eh? Well then, you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezlo. It's a ple pleasure to meet you, to make your acquaintance. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait, I say. You walk too quickly. You walk so quickly, too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed I don't have legs. Okay. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? You're not even moving. Ah! If it isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. I'm not gonna do that voice anymore because it hurts my throat so much. There. Now you can't possibly leave me behind. My, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See? There. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. Ah, oh, such a helpless child. Okay, so, look, we have a hat now. That's always spectacular. Except, yeah, so he's like, he's like Navi or Fi, except for the, unlike Navi or Fi, he's a tremendous dick. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Eh, who are the Minish? Ah, yes, silly me, allow me to explain. You humans call them Pakori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans, only the forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many now live. But if you were to enter the village, we'll have to make, <laughs> make you touch a s- well, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first, Ugh. Look at that! At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No, that stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. Okay, looking good. So this is pretty cool. Ezlo uh, apparently knows some powers to make you uh, shrink like the minish. Just look at this. It's so pretty on the inside of the stump. It's also purple, but it's so pretty. It's also hollow. I don't understand. Welcome to the world to the eyes of the minish. Now aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me though. Oh god. 
Portals of Wrath like that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. But there is one thing you must know, being Minish full size is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your size are bottomless swamps for the Minish. And at your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. To proceed with caution, my lad, if not for your own sake, then for my own. So as he was saying, you can't go into puddles or else you drown. But luckily, in this game, falling into water doesn't take your heart away, only falling into a pit. So look at these lily pads. This, uh, shrinking down to minish size is the main gimmick of this game, kind of like turning into a painting in a- oh god. Turning into a painting in a link between worlds. This one is turning tiny. Oh my god, I can't do this. This one is turning tiny. There we go. Look at our little tiny sword. It's as wide as our head. That's kind of not real. So this is this is where like the game really looks cool. Just look at this. this that's um that's that's amazing. I mean maybe it's only me saying that because I'm a graphics junkie and a big sprider, but whatever. The Minish Woods is just one of my favorite areas, just for that reason. Hmm, it appears we have found the Minish Village. Oh god, they look like me. They look like little elves, oh my god, they're cute. The Pico Picoy! I gather it's been quite some time since I last saw a human. Sure. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Ah, uh, yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. We should look around. Perhaps there is. So let's just walk around the Minish Village right now. You can break those nuts or whatever they are. I must say, I love how they can make their hedges grow perfectly straight and not, like, and not have anything uh, interfere with them. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. <clears throat> so we're, we are, we are tiny. That's always nice. We want to go in this big crystal house. Maybe somebody lives in here. Oh look. Hmm. I have never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since we just established this, sir. My name is Festari. I watch the Abbey, as well as the Shrine to the North. <laughs> you seem to have be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You could use a jabber nut, and it will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> so before we go in the barrel house, let's go up here and onto the pier and see what's over here. Did I- how many times did I say- Rhyme or whatever. Hey, look, a heart piece. You got a piece of heart, now you have two pieces. Collect two more to increase your life energy. Okay. Let's get going. So, in this game, there are. I don't remember how many off the top of my head, like 52 or something. That's the same as Minish Cat, or not Minish Cat, Majora's Mask. Not that many, but there are uh, quite a few heart pieces. So, we're gonna be, uh. We're gonna be, uh. Worked off our tail, I guess. Can I grab it? Oh, Link! This must be the Jabberknot Fistar I told you about. You better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. I don't want to eat anything with a mouth on it, to be honest. You ate the Jabberknot. You can now understand the language of the Minish. Well, that was easy. I wish I... Uh, that'd be so cool if they had that in real life, though. So you've eaten the Jabberknot and... Oh, okay. Let's try that again. So you've eaten the Jabbernut, now you can understand us. The Elder said that humans can no longer see us as they once could. It's amazing that you can see us. Yes, it is. It's because I'm a, I'm a child who is good at heart. Who has no bad intentions. Except that I want to murder everything. But you know, that's not a bad intention. So let's just keep going back up here. Now we can talk to the old guy again. We can talk to Fastari again because we can understand their language. And Let's see, let's walk around his house first off. So pretty. Okay, anyway, let's talk to the guy. So you've eaten the Jabbernut, and now you can understand us. Sorry, but I know little- oh, okay. So you've eaten the Jabbernut, and now you can understand us. Sorry, but I know little about swords. I'm sure the Elder can help you. Okay, so let's go talk to the Elder. The Elder just happens to be over here, by the way. How easy is that? Like, he lives, he lives on a stump. Which is, I, I, that'd be pretty cool if I lived up here like a hobbit. Here's the elder. Oh, you speak our language. It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. This child is Lank. We need to break the curse that has been cast on the princess of Hyrule. To do so, we need to reforge the broken Pokori blade. 
Ah, yes, and you've come here to ho uh, now hoping to have the blade reforged? Hmm, well, if that's what you're after, you'll need four mystic elements. These elements are the crystalline forms of the energies of the wood world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be formed. Here, give me your map. I can mark where the elements can be found. So, they're all far apart from each other. <laughs> Great, of course they are. The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Festari's abbey. Speak with Festari, he will show you the path of the shrine's entrance. Well, that's easy. Go with caution. Evil creatures have lately made their, uh, have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the earth element. Okay, we'll do that. So it sounds like we have, uh... Sounds like we've got our plate full right now. We've just started and we're already, uh... Heading off to find the first element. That's always nice. So let's just walk up here and talk to the star again. Oh, you wish to go to the shrine. Very well this way. The vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it is quite dangerous. Well, that was easy. Okay. So hey, look, there's where the heart piece was. If you didn't grab it, it's gonna, just gonna be taunting you right now. So we'll just walk through here, and we'll walk up to the entrance, but we won't go in. In the next episode of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, we will enter Deep Wood Shrine. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.